1992, an election year in the U.S., but it was much more than that. Is American Gladiators. What's cool? What's cool? Hello everyone, it's Dr. Neil, and it's another catalog review where we take a look at some of the toy periodicals that I've run across in my travels. Most of these catalogs go for reasonable prices, and I'd recommend picking one or two up if you find them. Today is a short romp through Mattel's Boys Toys catalog from 1992. The 1992 Mattel Boys Catalog. While I'm still waiting to replace some of that film equipment, I'm going to be doing some scanned catalogs again. And the 1992 version of uh, Mattel's catalog, that they split it up again, boys versus girls. And in the boys catalog, it starts off with the standard Hot Wheels, and then we move to American Gladiators, Hook, and Air Pro Hockey. So not only was there Hot Wheels, but they branded out into some different things. Uh, Bigfoot, um, another monster truck, non-licensed, and then Streaks, if anybody remembers those. They were a billows-powered Hot Wheels. It looked a lot like F-Zero. And they did have some TV advertising. First, we took off the wheels. Now we've given them wings. Rip it up, rip it up, Hot Wheels. Jet streaks blasting through the sky where no Hot Wheels have gone before. Jet streaks smashing the speed barrier. Going the distance. And you've got the pop, pop, power. With the streaks target tower you put together. Jet streaks, the future of the fast. Jet Streaks comes with Jet and Watcher. Target Tower sold separately. New from Hot Wheels. Overall, they're pretty cool. A neat idea, but uh, ultimately just didn't work. They had a track set, which I never had. <clears throat> this was a massive massive setup and I don't actually ever remember seeing it in stores or out the target tower and here we go to Bigfoot that predated Monster Jam this thing is pretty cool you can switch the tires out Snake bite, don't remember that. Truck hauler. Oh, <clears throat> and here we have uh, another crushed cars execution. And you smash them with a big foot and snake bite. And here we have more rev ups action. I think they had these last year in the catalog as well. And we've seen this guy before. And over here we have the <clears throat> the Hot Wheels basic selection for the year. Pretty similar to uh, 1991. And the workhorses. And some classics, again. Uh, I know the Speed Demons were my favorite. And the Tea Bucket.
and the five car gift packs with some gnarly 90s graphics and then the California Customs which uh, had a jack lift and uh, a ramp and you can switch the tires in and out of them. It was a fun little idea and some graphics that you could stick on the cars if you wanted. And the quick fire crash curve. Ah, uh, the cap blasters again. And some city sets. The shared tooling. And the Hot Wheels Highway Builder. I still have not been able to find this one. I'm really interested because of this rollout uh, road layer. The blaze the road. I'll have to keep looking for it. And the Hot Wheels Wax and Wash. And Bruno. I have one of these guys uh, sitting on my shelf. Essentially, it was a, a pet monster truck that made all kinds of weird noises when he pulled the chain. And here we have it, the hook selection. This one is uh, what I'm mainly interested in right now. I was able to get quite a good selection of the series of package. I still don't have Rufio though. And honestly, I've always hated this sculpt of his head. It just looks weird. And so was the Lost Boys uh, thud butt. The way that it rolls up is uh, food fighting Pan, food fighting Rufio. Pirate me and Swiss Army Captain Hook. And the standard pack is here. We got Swashbuckling Pan, Air Attack Pan, Lost Boys Rufio. Oh, yeah, and Ace was my favorite. Multi blade hook, tall terror captain hook, <laughs> and pill, bill juice. Who doesn't remember that guy? I think this one, the multi blade hook, was the uh, the best hook in the figure. Twin cannons hook. Learn to fly, Peter Pan. That's pretty good. Crocodile. Which, uh, yeah, he was dead during the movie. That's just weird. That's just weird. Oh, Lost Boy Double Coaster. So you ride by them and trip the pirates. This is, 
this line was really stretching the artistic license that you could take with toys. You know, I didn't have any of these vehicles and I still really don't know if I want them or not. Sure, the strike tank was uh, my obvious favorite. The giant boxing gloves and the attack raft. Whew. And it continues with the Never Tree playset. There's all kinds of action going on in this thing. I look a little Hot Wheels track here. Sure, it's a wind coaster, man. And we got the Peter Pan teddy bear. So cute. And the battle sword. Oh, he's already started to uh, smash his uh, sword. Everyone I knew had a battle sword. It was great. Oh. Oh, that's that's fun. Fruitapult. I never. I never saw that. I'll have to look that up and see if it actually came out. That's really cool. I think I remember the pirate blaster. Rapid fires, balls. Okay, cool. Let's look at the American Gladiators. Now, more action from American Gladiators. The Galaxy event. Okay. Comes out hard and fast. Thank you. No timing. He's picking his shot. <laughs> Let's see that again. I think I got one of these two guys in package sitting on my shelf. It's kind of goofy. And the, um, there's a lot. Half of the line was girls. I didn't realize that. I do remember tuning in every week to watch it. Atmospheres were awesome, and the uh, the fighting Q-tips. It was a goofy show. I enjoyed it. Oh yes, and the Nerf War. The Nerf War was the best part of the show. Oh. Such cheese. I don't remember all these places though. They had quite a few. This one is crazy. The arena playset. Ow, oh, I, yeah, I don't remember this one at all. But it's got everything. The Q-tips, the uh, whatever that is, and the sliding dealy dupes, and the shooting, and the, that's cool. Oh yeah, giant foam Q-tips, that kid's ready to go. Oh, the flat tops. And air hockey. This thing was goofy, it had an engine in this giant puck and it would kind of try and float off of the, uh, the ground. Hey, check it out, it's new air pro hockey. It glides on a cushion of air. Now a short demo. Wow. See? Air Pro glides on a cushion of air over smooth surfaces. Okay. It flies over black yeah. carpet, over smooth carpet. And it wails in the gym. How does it do that? On a cushion of air. Hey, this is a long demo. Air Pro Hockey.
hockey comes with everything you see here. Batteries not included. Hockey was big. Hockey was big back then. Oh, and we have the index back here. So if there's anything you missed, please uh, be sure to note the page numbers. And there we go. That was the Boys Mattel 1992 catalog. So, subscribe and comment below if you like the content. I enjoy doing these leisurely looks at obscure things, and if you'd like to see more, click on these little window details on the screen. I also upload lost media finds every weekend. If you'd like to send me a message or follow some weirdo online, check out my Instagram. I don't really do Twitter. Thanks again, and I hope to see you next time. Dr. Neil out.